Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. I am registered for the Orange Regional. Hey. And Luke from Locals. Oh. How was our week in Yu Gi Oh? Let's start with you, Ben. I am registered. It was shit. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> My streak of winning ended in dramatic fashion today. It I did. lost to these two. He couldn't have been more pissy about the entire thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just the fact that I opened we completely unplayable. Oh. I was just like oh. Like <laughs> even like The one time against Luke The one game that I won against either of these two I, Against Luke Was simply just because I hand trapped you And then happened to top deck something Yeah Ash I literally I was like I'll go first Drew five cards uh, Set one pass By a dumb luck Luke lightning stormed me Which turned the impound that I kept in my hand on And then I was like Ah oh, cool Awesome uh, But yeah other than that had a really shit day. Uh, but I won locals on Tuesday, so, you know. Yeah, the streak's just over. With rescues? Yep. Yeah. I hadn't lost locals in since, like, mid-July. And now so you have. to finally lose was heartbreaking. At least you wrecked up some store cred. That's right. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Has, he not, has it not been... I've gotten the store credit from before, uh, from when I got back from Japan, but yeah. not store credit from before I left for Japan. Okay, that's weird. So there's like 80 bucks store credit just in the air that I don't know. Ugh. I mean, yeah, fun. it does transfer over. It's just a matter of whether it's been done yet. So it's not like the money's lost. Uh, yeah. You'll be fine. Anyway, Look, I'm, right. At least you didn't I'm go... not banking on the fact that it was put into the system beforehand. So, at least you didn't go X1 three weeks at three locals in a row and got nothing. Yes. So, but here we are. Yes, this is true. Luke, how was your week? Uh, well, Tuesday I didn't play. Um, and then today I played and then I won. But I was only three rounds, so it wasn't anything too crazy. Um, so it was cool. It felt nice to like play again. Um, but also at the same time, felt very out of it because I picked up Infernoble and played it for like one or two locals with a new support. And then haven't really played for like two weeks because it's not motivating. Like I said, going X1-3, got three, three locals in a row and getting like nothing was kind of like, I can't be bothered anymore. Especially after Tuesdays going to like 6.30 instead of 7. That made it a little bit awkward. Um, not in general, just for mainly Tuesdays. Yeah, I was going to say, because you like finish work at like 6, don't you? And if Some, anything yeah. goes wrong, you can't make it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, so as long as like everything goes right on Tuesdays and I can make it but 7 gave me that extra bit of time especially living in Dapto now like driving back instead of like because I was in Wollongong so like going to Wollongong and then to locals yeah you were literally like a around, kilometre from locals yeah it was now. around the corner now it's like drive like 20 minutes and get stuck in like peak Arvo traffic yeah <laughs> and then just make it for 6.30 so yeah that that was kind of unmo- that combined with like the store credit thing was just unmotivating to be honest I'm not going to lie mm. so yeah it felt nice to play today and like even if I didn't win it was just it just felt good to just play to be but honest but you did yeah but I won so it was good and then got got store credit <laughs> finally so yeah that was good it was a good day lovely uh, my week um, so I think we ended up in the finals on Tuesday right yes yeah um, and I didn't open any side cards then uh, and then we versed today and I opened all the side cards, and you opened nothing. <laughs> yeah, you opened all the side cards, and I opened. To be fair, you still got to the board. I, I there got was to a the little board, bit of shooting in the middle. But like, I literally would have lost to a single hand trap. I had like, one too. I just waited for ages to use it. <laughs> any hand trap would have stopped my board, and you just didn't use it. Yeah, because I was worried about cross out and then tactics ripping my hand apart, and I was like. I've got yeah. the lightning storm. I've got the evenly. No. I'm not too concerned about what you have to set up here. No, my my hand was literally any hand trap is game over. Oh, is that the game where you had cross out and you didn't cross out the lightning storm? No, I tr- cross out with my top deck after I got lightning storm. Ah, and I had sided in the lightning storm and evenly for the cross out. And ah. it opened it. Yeah. Oh, and you opened the lightning storm. No, no, no. Oh, I thought you told me you opened the lightning storm. No, no, no. You just oh, top okay. decked the. Cross yeah. Out. Yeah. Okay. I was like, well, that happened the other day, on Tuesday night. I. 
sided. I just had one imperm, one ash in, with the crossouts, mm-hmm. and I drew crossout imperm ash, and I was like, oh, cool. Good thing I my- didn't get hand trapped here. <laughs> that for me would always droll, and then I got drolled. Literally, so. it's the it's the only thing I don't like about crossouts that it has to be in the deck because that's like those take me back to adding Mister feels of like opening the Nibiru with the cross out in my hand. I'm like, oh, please so don't, please don't have it. <laughs> one I literally don't care because I'm playing 3-3 three, three and the cross outs. It's in game three when I'm like, the cross outs are there. And the oh, so oh, that thing you mentioned about the sides now makes sense because when you were saying, oh yeah, having two cards for sides is like nice ratios. I'm like, that sounds like awful ratios. No, so it's because I have five cards to side out going first and five cards that I can guarantee side out going second. So playing a two... So now I play a 3-3-3, three, 2-2-2 three, three, two, two, two line. So I can put five in at a time to depending on the matchup. Yeah. Works really well. Except for the fact when the main deck doesn't do anything. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, breaking on traps. Yeah. Uh, I, I drew traps like it was my job today. Just open less traps. I don't mind siding cross out at the moment, so it feels <laughs> feels kind of nice to be playing cross out again. I was originally great. playing cross out, but then it dawned on me that like the things that I would like to interrupt most people aren't playing, so I, I changed up my ages. lineup a little bit, and it's more blowout cards and just like your sort of standard side. I yeah. the thing that I like most about playing cross outs and rescue ace is because there will come a point where. It sounds like my dinner's cooking too well. Um, you will come to a point where you don't have... Like, Ash hits you at the start of the combo, Imperm hits you at the end. So if you get Ash at the start and you have the extenders, you can go into the way that protects you from Imperm as well. But if they don't Ash you, then you just have the cross out and you don't need to do the Imperm protection line. Or if they just Imperm at the start, then you're just chilling, right? Oh, yeah. If they Imperm you at the start, you're fine. Yeah. Literally just any extender, you keep going. But yeah, that's <laughs> the, the reason why I like playing it so much. It's because yeah. each hand trap hits you as you're going through the combo, so you can be like, this would hit me here, didn't hit me, then I'm sweet, I don't need to now protect myself from other hand traps because mm. I can cross out the other hand traps. That's all I like it with Inferno, because you can play around Nibiru and sometimes Droll, so you can mainly just have it for Ash or Infirm. Yeah. Um, but it's mainly, honestly, it's still mainly there for Droll because it, it's, it's quite impactful. Mm. And yeah, it's not it's not fun. Literally, like you could just literally just end on like a solid and pass most of the time if you get drilled. And it's like the thing that one of the things Uptep sent me most about today is that in game three Luke trolled me. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, I I do main it. So no, I, no, no. So my deck normally doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I know. Like I'm yeah. normally just like good droll. I cheated on camera on the other day. I got drilled and then searched, and I was like, oh no. Could have just done that in draw phase in the next turn instead of doing it in the main phase two of what, this turn. What, what match was this? I was versus Jordan. Ah, and I like right. resolve combo, and then at the end I'm like, ah, screw it, I'll do the search now. Yeah. Right? I could have just waited until the next draw phase and it's gone. Boop. Yeah, so it wouldn't yeah. have mattered anyway. So if you wish to watch uh, Nolan TCG cheat, uh, feel free to jump onto the channel and watch uh, his most recent replay, I believe. How were yeah. the, the comments on that video then? They were just like, oh, where do we ignore draw? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. True, but yeah. that didn't didn't matter. Yeah, it's okay. Josh is my coach. <laughs> I ignore the hand traps and floodgates that are affecting me and continue to play. <laughs> and also, I think there was a time where opening into you where it didn't matter, but I yeah. kept it in for cross out, and I still drew it. Yeah, so I was, I was like, "Well, I'm gonna have to use it." I was know? like, "Huh, this is a problem," and because I, I had rotor, it was my one cup. My one starter was rotor. Oh, yeah, and I that was, was like, today. Yeah, it's fine. I have full combo. Outside of that, so I like activate the rotor. The rotor resolves, and then I get drolled, and I'm like, I didn't want this rotor to resolve, and now I've been drolled. This is a this problem. Is, this has gone the worst possible way. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I cleaned it all out, then. Yeah. Uh, the fun of locals and hand traps and counters to hand traps and counters to counters. Anyway, uh, so we start with some news and we begin with Master Duel. So as of a couple of days ago, they did release uh, some new stuff. Obviously, the ban list is coming into effect now. Uh, we also do have some updates to packs. Uh, so the Pledge of Sword secret pack, uh, which had all the um, like arcane royal straight mm-hmm. garbage, yep. uh, is uh, it is garbage. Um, they've it added... Is. Oh, that's the Jack Knight Queen's Yeah, yeah, that support. one. Yeah. Ah. Trash. Absolute trash. 
Uh, but they did integrate MX Saber Invoker as an ultra rare into that pack, so you have yeah, some reason to buy it. that's why they unbanned MX Saber Invoker. I mean, it doesn't so help did that Did you deck. know that that was the reason why I unbanned MX Saber Invoker, but you're still on Mr. Oh, I can't talk about anything that hasn't been announced yet, otherwise I might They did banned. announce that. The thing you wanted to talk about is something no, else that no, has no. now been announced I'm that we can it. talk about later. So back when we had MX Saber get unbanned, yeah. Had it been leaked that that was because no. it was going to be in a pack? No. Okay. Isn't that the rank no. four that like, searches something? Rank, rank three. three. It summons, it's summons a, oh, a warrior from deck. Right? Summons a beast yeah. warrior from deck. Uh, it's what Zoo used to do. Yeah, so yeah, you go yeah. like Terratop, Takaton Borg, into MX, uh, MX summon a Zoo card combo. Yeah. And they made that legal. Yeah, Arsenal. they brought it back, yeah. It's perfectly fine. Like it's, it's there's not seventeen really more negates since um Zoo. Like it probably could have come back earlier, but it's just like that like the thing in the back of your head's just like <laughs> they summon think, MX Saber. Do you, just like, <gasps> do you think they'd bring it back here as well? Yeah, like it's not that bad of a card. Okay. They can bring it back. I really, I think they just bring like, it back. Dryden. What are they gonna do? Make a Zeus? Ooh. I don't want them to have Dryden again. Yeah, I do. I, would, I, do. I, don't give them I do. I want Dryden back. I want it to Like Barrage should still be banned. Oh, hang on. Here's a question for you. Oh, yeah, keep Skill Drain yeah, and keep banned. Dryden, or get back Dryden and lose Skill Drain. Yeah. So Bragg's off camera, by the way. I want I want Dryden back. At the Wait, time. so the, I would want Dryden back, but not a lot of people would. So the option is either skill drain band or Dryden band. Yeah. Correct. You pick Dryden every time, right? Why, yeah. Why? If it's the two of them, it's no problem for me. Do you pick skill no drain both. band? Why would you hmm? not want skill drain band? No, no, no. I want them to have Dryden back if it means skill drain got limited. This is all hypothetical, by the way. I am in no way influencing the band list. <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, next pack. What was that pack, called for? He doesn't have something. any influence over the ban list. Sneaky. Jake knows something, we don't. Anyway. Yeah, Jake's looking at Master Door leaks and then refusing to talk about them. Yeah. <laughs> can we get banned for looking? Yeah, can I get banned for looking at the leaks? <laughs> Jerome, this is a serious question. If Jerome watched, we would have been banned ages ago. <laughs> anyway. Was um, that before or after that one time when I was like, fuck Jerome? Because I'll say it again. But Fuck you, Jerome. You just say joking, joking at the end. And he doesn't though. Oh, <laughs> well, oh, never mind. He says it with uh, vigor and passion. Anyway, uh, the next pack that gets updated is the Blazing Warriors Sacred Pack, which is the one that used to have Rongominia, but now it's gone. Um, so they're adding in uh, some more of the Heroic Champion stuff that's oh, all great. just a bit garbage. Um, like, they don't need to adjust these packs. These packs are shit and no one's buying them anyway. I know, but I feel like also, most of the time they're just giving people, like, if it's support for a deck, they actually, just sort of whack it in. So they don't, it's fine. are they updating old packs? They update now? old packs if they ban cards from the old packs. Uh, so I'm assuming it's because they don't actually have a way to stop you from getting the banned cards. So they just take them out. You can still craft banned cards. I thought I they got rid of that. Oh, maybe not. No, I, no, sorry, I thought that was a thing that was never a thing. I thought they only brought it in when you they were doing oh, an true. event. Yeah, you should, it? Yeah, Why, usually. What's, what's wrong with just letting you craft it? Because they could do formats where they could be unbanned. You'd think That's so. That's a great idea. But originally they were like, nope. Oh, so they're just stupid. <laughs> well, they do for casuals now. Like for casual duels, they do let you use banned stuff. Oh, so just not for... Yeah, for anything that matters, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we they, do... they do like some different formats, right? Like the festivals and shit. So. Yeah. And there's generally augmented ban lists and stuff for that, but most of the time they don't bring back stuff that's like banned in a normal format. If anything, they just ban more stuff. Just make yeah. every ban card ultra rare. I mean, that seems like a very th them thing to do. Most of the time that's they are. That's why me stop playing it, just crafting all these. Do you want to have fun? Rares. No. Expensive. Pay us money. Or don't. I've yeah, to be fair, I've never, spent, I've never spent a dollar in that game. I've I tried to when it first there. came out, and it was like, oh. Uh, currently, it's not available on Steam, and I was like, "Guess I'm never spending money on this." <laughs> that's the most thing that actually like annoyed me. That it just took a while to load. Yeah, like getting into like missions and accepting rewards, and it just it it's just... gotten a lot better. You yeah. should probably give it another go. Yeah, probably. Don't worry about it. Sword Soul with um, Protoss is still legal. Ooh, okay. <laughs> 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 now we're talking. See, now you don't have to worry about hand traps and things. You just summon it, call dark. Yeah. Simple. Good times. Nine times out of no, ten, you'll no, win. Now, now you call Earth, so you don't get Max Seed, because we've already been Max Seed. Sorry. What do you think Protoss stops? Attribute, isn't it? 
Yeah, but it doesn't stop them activating. It stops them special summoning. So unless your opponent is throwing uh, max Cs at the board. No, God no. no. That would make it so much better. You can't special summon. You just can't special summon no. of the attribute. That's so. why I was broken. I should PK really remember thing. this card. This card helped me top a regional. I should really remember it. Did, was it just a point of like you slapped Protoss on the board and your opponent just left the table? You never had to read it? Is that how that went? I'll be real. Yeah. <laughs> I summoned Protoss. I called whatever I thought was good against them and they normally just scooped. What was what other decks were in that format? I can't even remember now. Like I know PK Lunda. was just Liralosk. Oh. Like, yeah, try try Lir try Liralosk. Okay. Uh, PK, sort of. Yeah. People could have run PK early. Was, PK was yeah. about to be a thing. Adventure come out like a week later. Yeah, okay. Uh you could have gone early branded, which would have been terrible. Because it was literally just Chimera Pass. Uh like, my only loss was to Poe playing Striker, but like Poe always plays Striker. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, continuing with Master Duel, though, we have a new secret pack, the Beastly Claws of Terror. Uh, basically, just lets you get um, the uh, Scareclaw stuff that was originally in one of the other packs, the Selection Pack. Now yep. the Selection Pack gone, so allowing you to buy it elsewhere. It does have some MX Saber stuff, including MX Saber Invoker. Uh, so that's there. I was thinking twice. There's two packs. Of, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, gotta give you all the opportunities to get MX Saber invoked. True. We have a new solo mode. Uh, this one I is actually play this one. UAs. Uh, I played it. The law is uh, loose, and that's putting it generously. It okay, is... so I'm not gonna play this. It's like the one law that I would have given a fuck about. It's literally just uh, they're in the future, and there's people that play sports. That is. I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> like that is the gist of it. Um, the rewards for it, again, aren't great. You get um, some UA sleeves with, I don't know what monster that is. Blockbacker? Sure. Or, I don't know, that's not Blockbacker. Wouldn't it just tell you? You'd think so. But no. Oh. Um, it depicts an athlete who zips down the pitch, ball in hand, acting as an in game commander I for the other players. It's Blockbacker? It makes sense. No idea. Um, but yeah, you I get a, a uh, Blockbacker, maybe uh, sleeve and icon. Um, and we do have a new icon frame, uh, the dark it's one. It's not blockbacker. It's not? Uh, Quarterbacker? Playmaker? Surely it's not playmaker. It's playmaker, yeah. Playmaker! Deck doesn't even link summon, it's got playmaker. I was going to say. Outrageous. <laughs> Vrains and uh, fucking UA overlap when. Mm. Um, but yeah, we have a new icon frame, uh, dark attribute, just has a lot of purpley stuff in the dark Continue. attribute in I'll the corner. Keep going, I'll be back shortly. Uh, as well as a dark deck ben. box. What? There's a Dedene. There's a Dedene. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry. We interrupt this program. Um, you also can now buy a red eyes icon and you get the sleeves of the new BLS link, which is in the new secret pack, Inherited Unity. Um, in there you get... Uh, it, all kind of garbage, to be honest. <laughs> oh, wait. Duality. I, I take that the fuck back. Duality's been released. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah duality. That's... That's right, yeah. Because it's with BLS. And Shadow's Light. Oh, Ooh. bro. Ooh. Uh, Sword Soul, Soul Protoss with Duality. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have some things to do in Master Duel now. I didn't realise these were also might, coming in this pack. Um, the Link 5 for Firewall's also in that, so I'm assuming that um, a bunch of that cyber support's also in there. How much Rescue Ace is in here? Zero. <laughs> but you sent me a leak today, Jake. Aren't they releasing? I didn't send you a link today. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Prove it. <laughs> no evidence. But continuing on with Master Duel, we also have... Uh, I saw the questions for later. Oh. We also have a new uh, tryout duel thing. Tryout duel thing? Yeah. You get the pre-con, you do three duels, you win one pack. Again, low investment, low reward. But it's mainly to sort of entice you to do new stuff. Okay. Um, so they've released uh, a Red Eyes pre-con, a BLS recon, and an uh, Obelisk slash ABC pre-con. Because oh. um, in the BLS pack, they released one of those uh, structure deck Obelisk cards that like, I think it lets you tribute the board. Okay. So yeah, they're using ABC as the engine for that. Um, so yeah. Uh, by the time that you're listening to this, uh, unfortunately, it will already be over. So hopefully you see it sometime before then. Otherwise, you don't get to try it. I um, did not do it. But again, <laughs> it's still available to us, Ben. I'm thinking of the future. Big bread. When is now? <laughs> it's 3 a.m. 
<laughs> what is now? What did you say last week? It's always Christmas when you're dead. It's what? always Christmas in heaven. <laughs> That's the one. Oh. Every day is Christmas in heaven. Every day. Anyway, um, more exciting news though. <laughs> we have the 2024 season prize card having been announced. Oh, yeah, it's shit. It's just, well, this is some of the vanilla. Yeah, yeah but that's but what right. they fucking should be. But it looks sick. It's got 2,500 attack. Oh. How much uh, attack? 2,000. Oh. Card is literally worse than Dark Magician. What's its level? Eight. What's its. Oh, hell! What's its typing? Fiend. Is it dark? Yeah, of course it is. Does that make it more searchable than Dark Magician? No. Yes. Does it? Yeah. One of the... Um... I can search off seeing it? No? No. Uh, no, it's, that's a way too high. You literally dump off souls. That, you're... Yeah, but that's, that's, that's not a search. That's a dump. That's different. Yeah, but you have um, access to but it. But the, there was a support card for the um, Destiny board cards that lets you just search uh, a level 8 Dark Fiend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah. you're telling me I can play this card in my Destiny board deck? You can. I can't Assuming to you want to pay about $2,000 for it. Yeah, just, yeah, just win. Uh, so this yeah. one is called That's Another good. Verse Glatonia. Um, so again, vanilla, level 8 Dark Fiend. Um, the mat actually looks really nice. I do like the mat. Yeah, yeah the nat's, mat's really nice. Uh, they've also given us a photo I of the mind trophy. The actual artwork of the card. I just like the, like just the vanilla. The artwork like is the... nice. I like but the artwork. Fuck, is it useless? But again, and I've said this multiple times on the podcast, that's what prize cards should be. There shouldn't be a $2,000 ceiling on being able to play the best variant of a deck. Oh, no, I agree. But you just don't make the card uh, yeah, crack. I think you just, just make, make the good. card like so hilariously dumb that it's useless. But this is the thing. They don't know how to do that. They either go... Dueling's it... Dragon's hilariously dumb. Yeah, that card sucks. Yeah, exactly. The only good one was the Armageddon Dragon, or the, the uh, Angel. Actually, it, the, I mean, if you look back on the history of prize cards, a lot of them are cracked. I don't know what the other ones do. Diablo, Cyberstein, Stein, Band, Mindhacker. Oh yeah, true. That was a prize yeah, card. Yeah, Diablosis, um, Minerva, Minerva. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, wasn't... Rank four, detach one, real three. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Minerva. Oh, that was bastard. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a bit. Unfair. You literally couldn't play lights oh, that, one that unless one's... you had three prize cards. Oh, that's yeah, shit. Okay, we don't make yeah. it like that where it's like an instant three of you. Just make it where it's like you don't need the card. Like, well, yeah, just print fusion. print more stuff like Duel Links Dragon. Yeah, yeah. Well, they release a fusion of the two because there was last one was another verse as well. Hopefully, Vanilla Fusion coming when? Twenty four. Yeah, twenty twenty five. Literally, just print so they get a fusion monster next year. Then give them a fusion spell the year after. That's just send the two another verse cards from deck to summon the fusion monster. <laughs> fusion okay. monster if this card declares an attack <laughs> yeah. you win the game <laughs> I actually bought some of those from uh, when I was in Japan oh which ones um, I bought the two that I had the playmat for so the two ones that were the world championship days playmat oh those ones yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that would actually be a nice little frame thing you did like if you have like got them out but I think you still have them in the envelope right yeah uh, no 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 so I have the, the actual playmat I use the playmats okay yep uh, so we move on. Uh, so uh, through I some hungry burger thing open, or was it just decorative? It, it was just a no, no, no. It was just a icon thing. Oh, okay, I'm sure it'll come up in a second. Uh, but uh, we did just have uh, a bunch of YouTubers leak, or rather preview the, the mega uh, mega tins for this year, the oh. dueling heroes. Uh, so there's about <sighs> fourteen, maybe fifteen, or so, maybe sixteen. 16? I am more hyped yes. for these promos than anything else in the set. Yeah, so oh, we get centuries. the yeah. quarter century promos. Uh, so I'll run through them very quickly. We've got DM, Head of Exodia, Red Eyes, uh, Rainbow Dragon, Cyber Dragon, Elemental Hero Neos, Stardust Dragon, uh, the Jesus, Armor that's Ninja, what they are. Black Rose Dragon, Utopia. That's uh, Blackwing for Armor Master. That's Blackwing Armor Master. I said Armor Master. You said Ninja. Oh, it's the same fucking thing. Who fucking said cares? Ninja. Who fucking cares, Ben? No one. Black Moving on. Down. Blackwing players can. Galaxy Dragon, uh, Odd Eyes Dragon, Enlightenment Paladin, Deco Talker, Firewall, and the Rank 4 Salad card that no one plays, and I question why it's in there. That's that's a random pick. Fair. So I know they're getting support, but It's still. in there because they can make a Zeus with it. 
Stop. No, but they're Why? locked into fire effects. Yeah, if they're not playing... as they just go level four, level four, make that attack Zeus. <laughs> but then, would be a but then they'll need another extender to like combo off, right? right? No, no, they just make Zeus. Oh, so it's basically Zeus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Animal, animal. I can see now why I don't play salad because I think Zeus. Josh would have a heart attack if you tried to explain your amazing salad place to him. You just make that, you make Zeus. You don't make that. This card is garbage. You, nah. you only get one. You only get one uh, send because you can't slam like a down or something over top. Yeah, it's bad. That's a good point, it's but bad. it doesn't matter. It's bad. True, because it's salad and no one cares. <laughs> Beyond that, though, there are some uh, prismatic rare uh, secrets and things. Dude, you get. Oh, don't list all of them. I'm not. I'm oh, just going to pick out some of the more important ones. I mean, there is a list of them, but oh, ben, I don't know any of them. Ben prevents me from reading out a lot of things on this. But some notable reprints. We've got uh, King Regulus. Uh, we've got Martha. We've got Garura. Is it? These are all prismatic, right? Yeah. These are all prismatic Ooh, secrets. Okay. Uh, Psychic and Punisher. Psychic and Punisher. Flunder Beyond the Pendulum. Win. It's the other one. The continuous. No, 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 no. The Magnificent map. Map. No, it's not map. Map's already got a pre secret. Oh, sorry. Magnificent map searcher. Yeah, the search one. Oh, advent. Yeah, advent. Yeah, advent oh, of adventure. Finally got a pre secret. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's not worry about the fact that the fucking deck's dead. No, you can play um, fire statue in the, in the new set. It's fine. Uh, yes. All of the bestials got a secret uh, pre secret reprint. Oh, uh, that's... Cartesia. Uh, all of the first run of Kash Tira. They didn't even print both runs of Kash Tira. Oh, birth, Birth's going to be a nice pre secret. I'll pick those up. Birth's going to be banned before they arrive in the mail. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Hopefully. I mean, hopeful. I don't think that the deck's not even that. But you just ban shift up, problem solved. Like, it's not that. Like The right. thing is, it's taking up like a big portion of the top cuts. Jake has a big issue with this deck. Because Jake like, doesn't know how to not Cash send is really, to his Cash is really <laughs> not that bad. That's the thing. There's only two cards in my deck that I don't care. Like, the there's only two cards in my deck. Does yeah, Unchain but... say it have to go to the graveyard? No. Or is it just destroyed? Okay. No, Ben. There's only two cards that I need in my graveyard. The rest I don't give a fuck about. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen you interact with the grave a lot in that deck. I agree. I think it's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's because the two cards that go to the graveyard are there's people who are like, Ban or Asa, uh, Fenrir to one, Unicorn to one. It's like, really? No, no, no. Like... Ban birth, and then Unicorn, Fenrir to one. <laughs> That's... That, the deck's dead, <laughs> Yes. This is not Wait, on That's it. the point of ban list. It's not meant to go, oh, let's make it a little bit weaker. Like, they've already done the, the let's reduce the consistency. Now it's time for murder. It's, not, it's, not it's almost, no, it's always Christmas in heaven. <laughs> no, no, I don't think the deck's that strong. It's not that strong. It's really not. The problem is it has far too much recursion. So you can break the board, but if you haven't got rid of the birth, they just go, oh, summon two for free. Yeah, so it's ban birth. Exactly. That's what we said. That's why I want Ben. But nothing else. No, no, Ben, everything yeah, else. Ben, Ben. <laughs> I'm fine with everything else being at whatever you want it to be at. It's Ben, Ben. Yeah, and they bring Unicorn back to three. Because it's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just a troll. I really can... like that. Imagine having three Unicorn and zero birth. Oh, <laughs> savage. Normal summon Unicorn, resolve search, realize then you're locked and you can't get to a right side. Whoops. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of other cards. Um, if you do want to pick them up, I'm suggesting singles at this point. You can crack a few tins if you'd like for funsies, but you get some good value on the singles. It's better to buy Probably singles. head to Najiko, use code NOLAN5 at checkout. Code NOLAN5 at checkout. Yeah, that get one. Get 5% off your order. When do we even see the tins in the, this country? Are oh, this apparently next, next arriving year, on I think. time? Next oh, year. Yeah. When we get the OTS 22. No, no, that's in 2027. Um, 21? I know. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> anyway, um, in these tins, uh, we do have three new world premiere cards. Have we not already talked about these? We mentioned them briefly, but it was illegal. Um, anyway. Oh, fucking God. So, Noble Knights. Hey. You get a field spell. Uh, good, that's that's... A, yeah, it's kind of shit. Yeah. I like um, the art. Because it's shit. Uh, it's, it's, it's good because it's Camelot, I'm pretty sure. So that's... The art looks intentionally cheesy. <laughs> It's okay, because part of the field spell's effect is that it banishes itself anyway, so you don't even have to look at it for long. Yeah, because you need space for the better field spell that it's got. No. It's, it, not, we... it's, not, it's not the better field spell. It's the original field spell. Oh. It banishes so... itself to place the bad field spell from deck. Oh. 
And oh. I think it specials the vanilla, something like that. Let me read oh, so it. It's out. a lot worse than I thought. Um, yeah, that's even worse. That's worse. So it is protection for noble knights. You can destroy an equipped card if one of them would be destroyed instead. Oh. Um, oh, but its real. effect is it banishes itself. Well, they came up with this card. They probably didn't even know museum was a thing. <laughs> yeah, probably. This card probably got written. Like, so its effect is it banishes itself, and then it places the battlefield spell from deck, and then you summon Artorgius or Artorgus, yeah, the yeah. vanilla, um, from. Um, yeah, it doesn't say where... Oh, yeah, um, from deck or grave, um, or hand, and then you can I, yeah, either do that or add a uh, Noble Arms card from your deck to the graveyard. Oh. From deck, from, no. you, from deck to hand or hand. you foolish? And one, yeah, from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Yeah. They've not written out the translation properly here, yeah, so it okay. can't fuck me up. If that's, if that's what it is. Like, it's literally just like you're using multiple steps just to do what like chalice does yeah it's, it's not just more, it's like Rona but with extra steps no one else is arguing that this is good this okay, is, no, it's I'm okay just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's just another card um uh, speaking of not good uh time thief get a continuous card that it summons itself um it's still tra- treated as a time uh trap rather and then you can special uh, time thief from deck or graveyard oh, I thought uh, the problem is it's a trap uh, no they already have a counter trap oh yeah yeah yeah, they don't really need a second one. And then when it's engraved and your Time Thief has a spell and a trap equipped, you can banish it from the graveyard to banish non-target banish a card in the field. So it's engraved oh, okay. effect is not bad, yeah, that's not but bad. its on-field effect is just like, it doesn't do enough to actually get the deck going. Just play Foolish Burial Goods. And then finally, what people are probably more excited for, for three, is a new Spiral card. Uh, double Agent. Um, if you have oh, a Spiral okay. card on your field, it summons itself to the opponent's side of the field, and then um, it can't be used for any type of summoning. Uh, and while it's on the field, uh, both players reveal the top card of their deck. Um, and then while it's on the board, all spirals gain 500 attack, and super agents that are on the field can attack directly. So it's a better Ibli. Yeah, let's go with that, sure. Well, only for spirals, right? <laughs> yeah. It at least lets you combo. That card needed... The deck needs more. With no master plan, that deck kind of really sucks. Yeah, but like... Do you think they'll bring Does master it need to, to be good? Now? Surely master plan goes to one on the next ban list because of this. It no, can't. You, you can't bring master plan. Literally put every other card in the deck to three, and it still would be that good. Master plan is so fucking busted. Yeah. You you can't give them a back. I didn't play in spiral format. So master plan is stupid. Isn't it the search one? Yeah, it searches two things. Oh. That lets you search again and resolve full combo. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, valid. Uh, and then finally with the Megatins, so uh, in true TCG fashion, uh, they've had to go back and fix a lot of cards that they kind of fucked up the text on. Um, so one of them is Dragoonie uh, Sen- Senatus. Senatus. Yeah, that one. Uh, Noble Knight Custatin, or Custanin, whatever that one is. It's one of the ones that like changes its type. It's garbage. Yeah, um, and uh, Amor Factor, the Imagination oh, Draco. The one that skips the main phase? Yeah, so yeah, as far as I can that. work out, it's no longer an activated effect. It's just if it's ritual summoned, it just happens. Yeah. I've seen that on the Drytron page. It's like everyone's going crazy for it because you don't like declare the effect, you just summon it and they're just locked out. And then if you play Thunder of Ola, they just skip, you skip their whole turn. It's kind of cracked. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> More turn skip cards. Ah, Hooray. You have to do the full... Like, a it's full, okay, Jake. It's coloured blue. You have to do like a full Griffin combo for it though. So like... Exactly. You can nib them or whatever, but um, if they if they play thrust, they can just thrust and set it. So you have to be careful with that. Uh-huh. But it's it's not that viable to be honest. It's pretty gimmicky. Like they'll still play the am effector, but they probably won't. You don't have to play the thunder ruler. Good. And we also have uh, number thirty two or C thirty two shark drag vice. Uh, I don't care what its effect changes. Um, <laughs> and then perfect Ignore. sync. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> That's pretty deeply known. Oh, the ribs, yeah. Uh, some DD cards, some crawl cards, don't care. Blah, 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 that's blah, blah, blah. a lot. I just want to say, that's a it lot. It is a lot to fix, I yeah. thought you were going like, to mention one or two cards. Jesus. How, how many cards did they fix? Uh, six. Jesus. Good work. Yep. Well, it's a change of pace from them not fixing anything and just being like, eh, deal with it. Yeah. Eh, Gendora X. Completely different effect. Yeah, who needs to read? It's fine. Who needs the FTK? So what's like the list of cards? Ah, I see the question. 
you were now talking about. That wasn't there before. Uh, speaking Don't of, uh, we now move on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, so, our first question this week comes to us from 6x6. Six six. Uh, do you think the cards in the Rarity Collection are safe from the pending ban list? Yes. <laughs> That's well, it. What are they going to do? It's, it's Konami. They're not going to ban cards that they want to make money from. Yeah. Do you mean in general or like... I mean, over time they probably yeah. will. But like in terms of like a short-term effect, in you would assume... In terms of now when it comes not? out in two months? No. I mean... I do see them like semi-limiting semi -limiting or limiting prosperity like one day eventually. Boo. <laughs> I know, I don't like, I, I wouldn't want it to, but I can see them doing it because it's just cause Konami, I guess. Uh, but I don't really know what else is in the set, to be honest. No one knows what's in it. We're only guessing based on what's in the OCG. Yeah, so uh, like the original OCG version of the set was like 76 cards. 80. 80. 80. We're getting a 79 card set. But Maxi was in their set. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're just assuming we're getting well, the same set. With it would be like, out. I don't understand why they couldn't just print it. It'd be cool, like, as a collection thing, because it's a rarity collection. Like, this is true. Like, he... Yeah, it probably does need a reprint. Like... Yeah. No. I'm sitting on like 40. Yeah, true. Yeah, no reprints. <laughs> no, do not reprint that card. Reprint uh, Astral Pack 6. Yeah, just reprint Ulti Maxi. <laughs> oh, that would trigger so many people. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and I would laugh so fucking hard. And true for a whole lot of people, but like, <laughs> true. The fact, like, who gives like, if fun? you're sitting on Ulti Maxis hoping for it to come back, then then you're an idiot, straight up. Yep. So it doesn't matter. Is yep, there yep, yep. That good in the list, though. And, uh, uh, some good Baron cards. Talons. Oh, Shifter's in there. Friends about to go down. Oh, they could definitely hit Shifter. Fine. Yeah, I see Shifter getting banned. Yeah, you shift. You shift yeah, yeah, they're not gonna not ban Shifter because it's in the rarity collection. Yeah. Yeah, and that'd be because okay Shifter's not going to be selling the set anyway, yeah. so it's fine. Everyone buys because of Shifter. They'll just limit it to one, and then people will be swimming in seventeen uh, parallel ultra uh, starlight thingos and whatever. Mega play sets. I yeah, don't want Shifter to go to one. That's going to be Saki's budge. We played through Maxi at one, Luke. I didn't. Play, we, I didn't we, we were in the before times and the oh, long, I long ago. <laughs> I didn't play the before then. times. The long, long ago. <laughs> the old, the old days. <laughs> the old zoo format with Maxi at two. Great. Uh, I don't want to get sacked by one oh, shift of playing Infernoble. Yeah. Well, it's okay, you just ended up searching it, it was fine. I'm just small world into it. Bujinki Amaterasu and a pack. It's great. Those are the days. Mm. Anywho, second part of this question, even though it's slightly unrelated. What token do you want to see Konami make next? Oh, I got a good one. He's going to say the Sword Soul token, so that's my answer. No, no, that's not my answer. No, I know, I know what he's in. I could have yeah, had a better Jake, answer. Jake knows what I've been asking for years now. Fucking Battery Man Solar Token. Oh, I didn't think that was. Oh, okay, but that's I what thought, I want. I thought we got that. No. Does that no. not exist? No. no. Battery Man Solar Token. That's what I want. The one I have must be custom. Maybe it'd be weird for you to have a custom the one though. Yeah, that's why I'm questioning whether or not this exists. I would know. I don't have the battery percent to research it. Um. Uh, I was going to say initially the Cybers token so that every Cybers fanboy would shut the fuck up, but I've now backflipped on that. And, and I've decided that, Josh. yeah, but I've decided now that I don't want that ever to be printed and I want them to do the, um, it does exist. Uh, the nitro Very token. Soul token. No, it doesn't. It, it does, does not. not. Okay. You're searching on eBay. Of course it's going to exist on eBay, you fucking moron. Every, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What do you think I was going to say? The Cybers token. Because you were using um, Linkross, which summoned the Cybers tokens. Oh, yes. I yeah. thought that was what you were going to say. But no, it was Lachlan that was whinging about that for years and years. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I want them to make the Nitro token for uh, Gold Pride instead. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, they should the make brave the Rescue Ace cool. token. Did we get a, have we got a brave token? You don't have anything that generates a token. No, well, we don't. That's not a problem. Do you have a brave token? Yeah, yeah that would be is. cool. Nah, it's fine. At least the other things that are getting a token have a thing that generates a token. You're just like, no, nah, just give it to us. Yeah. And then make us more support because, you know, we're not give, busted enough already. Give Rescue Ace token that's just water. It's just a picture of some water. <laughs> but legitimately, the most broken bit of support you could probably give Rescue Ace is something that summons a card to the opponent's board. Because then lightning storms turned off, evenly matches turned off. I should do that more. I would like the sword soul tokens as well, though. To add on that, 
And I would like how they did in the OCG for the or our bad structure decks. They made the tokens. Well, I think they're tokens like pre secrets. Yeah, you could so, like get the random. So ones that would be yeah. cool if they, instead of just making them like commons or super make them all commons. When's Rarity Collection token collection? It'd be cool if they just <laughs> added just just, <laughs> just a box full of tokens. Well, it would be cool if they <laughs> added tokens to like a Bowser Legend or something. Just like I mean, they're already add adding it to most OTSs. It's yeah, just, just add their them. choices of them are yeah. shit. Yeah, the slime token. What the fuck? Rarity collection, token collection, and like the chase, like short print one is just a picture of Jerome going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know the star pack, right? Like the three, the three cards, three dollars a pack. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look, you put like you send out like fifteen of those to a store. Ooh. I'm probably gonna buy a few. Like. Oh, like just for tokens. Just a chase token, like. Just print better Not tokens. Like, boxes, but like, what was the most recent one they did? It wasn't even a token. It was a fucking Blackwing counter, and it was oh, like yeah. the yeah. same size as the card. So it was fucking oh, useless. What did you as meant a... to cut it up? Are watch... you? No. No. Watch, <laughs> watch them make um a block zoned like token thing after they hit cash, and they make like an artificial one. Yeah, for Ojama. Yeah, it's for Ojamas. Ah, true. Yeah, this is actually no drama token. Next question comes to us from Jesse. In your opinion, what is the best Link monster for each Link rating of all time? Link 2, probably. Link Anaconda. 1, Prank Kid. Yeah. Link 2, the list is 40 cards long. Yeah, Link there are a lot of good Link 2s. Anaconda? Could be Hulk? Probably. Oh, Hulk, yeah. I would vert vote Verte over Hulk because Hulk was obviously very busted but Verte was just generic it's just if you had two spare monsters at the end of any of your board you're just yeah, like oh I'm also going to have a Dragoon and also the DP package getting that draw 2 was quite good as well then I that's the that. answer I, I would vote Anaconda Verte um, I'd also go back and or, argue that um, the best Link 1 of all time was not a I Mermaid mean, for was, similar yeah, reasons I was about oh, to say yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's true yeah. I do think Prank Kids would be like very, very close. Like, almost high. <laughs> I'd say a close second. There's the two that are on the ban list. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Um, what about the Sunseed one? Three. That just starts the whole combo for plants. Yeah, but uh, that's fuck fine. Plants. That's what Prank Kids one does. <laughs> yeah, yeah true. except Prank, wins, true. Prank Kids one also gives you double well, regeki well, when, did Link, when did Link 1 and Link 2? What about the rest of them? Yeah, I'm bringing up the ban list to check the others. <laughs> uh, best Link 3. Oh, new ban list is out. I'm joking, I'm joking. I oh, that's, I di oh, that's dirty. Um, best Link 3. Hmm. LP could also be in the contention for Best Link 1. Nah, fuck dragons. Agapane could be in oh, Best Link 2. Uh, link 3's. So it's Summon Sorceress. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it has to be. There's Summon no Sorceress. debating on that. Oh, it's okay. Summon Sorceress. Oh, do you remember when. Do you remember locals when. Um, uh, the, 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 he was playing DM and he summoned Summon Sorceress? And we're like, oh, that's oh yeah. Um, the DM kid summoned Summersalk a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, felt bad. And we're like, like uh, <laughs> bro, that's banned. And like, not recent either. Like, banned for a while. Like, there's a couple of the main I... cards I might just go, oh, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, the Summersalk. <laughs> yeah. What was the application? Uh, I don't know. DM stuff. Remember. What was he going to do? I just remember looking over and it was there and I said, sorry, man, like, that's banned, but you can't use it. And he's like, wait, really? I'm like, yeah. Is there not. Celine's just better. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's better on the, the main bit of it's fucking legal. <laughs> True. Link 4, maybe like Axis Code or Brawl Sword, probably. Right? Original Firewall? Like pre or like pre Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't play it then. Oh, Gumblast. That's insane. Yeah, Gumblast is the other option. Or oh, Appaloosa. Really, I, I really like, oh, yeah. Yeah, but Appaloosa is legal. I think it's, a, it's original Firewall. Oh, so firewall. We're, we're just basing it off, oh, it's been good enough to be banned. Jake, you used to bitch so much about original Firewall. It wasn't the firewall that was like my biggest issue. It was the shit that was around it. Like the thing I hated most oh, about sorry, firewall was the Trickstar FTK oh, so or pick. OTK. Fuck that shit. That's dumb. The answer is original firewall. I would pick Borosaur just because I I like that card. I think I think is a very nice thing for. Phoenix. Link five. Adding this though, or is that it's, Link six? It's a Link six. Damn. <laughs> um, uh, there's the only a hand. The Voral Link five. Oh, the Boral That is pretty good. Boral, it's either yeah. that or Underworld Goddess, yeah, right? Yeah, underworld. I think Underworld. Yeah. I think the Boral. I think Underworld. Uh, uh, but Underworld outs the Boral, so Underworld. Underworld, yep. He's got it. Uh, He's Link 6, Adagnesta. Link 7? Not Link yet. Seven. The prize card one. 
There's a world's prize what? card, Link 7, that says you win the duel, I think. What? I think it's a Link 7. How many Link 6s six, so link do we have? Just the one? Two or three. Isn't, there, isn't, there isn't the new Cybers one a Link 6? The one that Josh plays? Or is that a five? Yeah, so there's that one, there's the Adding Mister one, and I think maybe one other one, but I'm not sure. Because two of them are like Cybers related, right? Like, I, no, I apart think, from, apart I from think all of them are Cybers related. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, because they just spit out once. That's that's what they're there for. Um, so yeah, What's what? That? Crystal Wing Data Stream Dragon. Is that is that the, the prize card one? That's such a cool name. Holy that is a cool name. What that the is fuck? sick. Anyway. Oh okay. That so makes we sense. don't have it yet. I want no, that. Probably I want a crossover episode. I want that. That sounds cool. Uh, next question comes to us from 6x6. Uh, given current ban list, are you excited to start the OTS slash WCQ events again, or would you prefer to have a new ban list before competing in events? I really hope we get a new ban list uh, before. Ban- I am very much hoping for a new ban list. Not so, like, obviously there's problems in this thing that we discussed last week, but just for something fresh, like, Do it just feels... Just get locals plays next? Just get Can Subway, you get on the ban list? You want something fresh? You play Rescue Ace. You think Rescue Ace is going to get on the ban list? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Okay. Yeah. All the traps to one. Yeah. Which is fine because you said them all. Yeah, exactly. Limit all the traps. Well, Limit every trap in the Jerome. game. <laughs> every trap. Limit all of them. Actually, I would re- I traps really. Yeah, I true, really... you've been antagonizing Jerome all this ban list. Now he's just going to go, go on, what Jerome. decks is he to play? Fire. Do it. I really want D Barry to get banned. Like, if I'd be. D Barry and like Shifter. Man's playing Synchros this, again and he's this, like. <laughs> this feels targeted. <laughs> <laughs> Moe effect. Uh, mm, hey, you thinking. played Shifter. <laughs> you can't not say Shifter. I need to put Shifter in my deck. God damn it. You did say it. that last week, yeah. I yeah, keep I forgetting to Shifter, put Shifter into my deck. But like, I still think it's probably like should get hit over Orisa because there's so many. You can out that a lot easier. But Shifter's a lingering I effect. You I can't still have... think it's both. Both and Shifter. Yep. Fucking both off. Well, that, if Shifter gets banned and then the birth goes to one, I think that's fine. And then Unicorn nah, will go back to three. Ban it. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Again, when they implement Wait. these, like, please stop playing these decks things, they don't just usually I go, like hopefully this will be enough. Nah, fuck it off. I really like Cash Tira. Fuck it off. It's time. Yeah, I've sold I'm, it, it can care. die. I don't really care. Yeah, you were upset that it didn't die when you'd sold it. That was. <laughs> You're I like, I could have played Cash Tira for another three weeks. <laughs> like, if, they, if they do, like, completely slaughter it, at least, um, and, like, leave Fenrir alone, at least they can leave Fenrir as kind of just, like, a nice staple card. The one that everyone has the ulties off. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, I'm, I'm on side. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they banned, like, the actual deck. The Fenrir is just like a nice, you know... I forgot that they had lip semi a in Unicorn. Yeah, I kind of forgot, too. They, yeah. they I was like, I know too. they did something yeah. to Cash, but I can't remember what it was outside of Diablosis. Out of that whole ban list, I kind of skipped past the Unicorn. One on a one. I always skip over semis. Yeah. Uh, and finally, we have a question from Naya. That's a good question. If you had to live with another body part attached to you, uh, brackets, Jake can't pick a belly button, close brackets, uh, to survive, oh, this the one. what body part would you choose and why? What body part can we not live without? No, no, you I think it's you have one. to have... Was it? I thought it was you had to have another one. No. Are we, are we adding one? Or are we yeah, with one? another body part attached to you to survive. What? To survive? Yeah. Have it's saying if you extra. had to live with another body part attached to you to survive... So, yeah, if you had to have an extra body part. I'd take an extra arm. Where would you have it, though? Just right here. Stick it in. But that's where your rib is. That's fine. This rib doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Just have, have the extra arm here. You can play Pogo three times. But that would be so impractical. You just have to get custom clothes to have a fucking second arm hole come out. That's or fine. cut a hole in each of your shirts. Just cut a hole in each of my shirts. See, if I were going to have an extra arm, that's not my extra body part. I'd have it, like, from the back. Like a what? trunk... I would just put eyes. Trunk in, arms. Just put eyes in the yeah, back. Yeah, like of the literally, just like a crane. I just pick eyes, right there. You can if, we, if you had a third arm, though, you could bend it, keep some cards. Like just position yourself so it's under the table and no one can see. And then the extra how much pseudo illegal shit do you want to say on this podcast? Holy fuck! <laughs> if I had an extra arm, I would cheat. <laughs> <laughs> um. What would I have another one of? Oh, you can have the extra arm. You can just play Yu-Gi-Oh while the other arm goes. Yeah. I wouldn't pick an extra arm because that means there's three arms I have to work out of the gym. And fuck that. No, no you just, you, you just you have, you have one small arm. one. <laughs> like on the Simpsons. And that way when you get to... Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was going for. Yeah. And you have a small one and on Halloween you just go, take my strong hand, Chad. 
What about the dude from um? Oh, is it the? Is, is it Halloween or the script where he has the demented like hand and he actually that's the joke he just made. and he serves it? Okay, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. That's pretty funny. Um, I had my body part and I've lost it. The fact that you're d- depriving me of this yeah, belly you button had a body that part I've lost. You lost it, yeah. <laughs> belly button. So targeted. I just want a belly button back, guys. <laughs> so rude. It's fine. Jake being Carl X. Anyway, maybe I'll, next time I'll take, we clone you. I'll we'll take another heart because you broke mine. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that it's a concludes. Dark way to end this podcast. Yeah, but yeah. well, it's almost Christmas in heaven. <laughs> I'm impressed that Luke knew what Kyle XY was. I swear, I'm the only person on the planet that watched that show. Yeah, I, I didn't even hear what you it. said. What'd you say? Did you watch the show Kyle XY? That's the whole belly button it's, joke. It's like a random ass clone, dude. And he didn't have a belly button. I think yes. I don't have yeah, to watch that show. Yeah, he had like he has like he got, sort he of got strong. Canceled. He drink Simpsons all the time. Yeah, it got cancelled like five episodes into season three, and I this is like back in the day, and I was like, what happened to my show? And then like I think this I'm is the one show I, I used to actually I watch. And then they brought in like a chick that also yeah, was like a Yeah, season two had a chick. Yeah. And they were like, it's his sister. And they were like, no, it's not. Now they're going to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. It was like... So instant. the opposite of yeah. Star Wars. Like the moment they were like, it's not his sister. They were dating. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's as if the writers were like, fuck, we need a love interest for this show. Yeah. Two people without belly buttons. <laughs> That's the sound of no belly buttons hitting each other's hands. Belly buttons? No belly buttons? (laughs) Yeah. Anyway. I've popped the mic like four times. That concludes us for today. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are listening along, feel free to favorite us, help us in the back end. If you are watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions for next week, and we will catch you all then. Peace. Bye.